Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I had a bit of a request um, to show how to set up uh, this Tacan, the new Tacan within DCS um, for a directional finding beacon. So it works with helicopters uh, and it will work with some aircraft as well. So I'll quickly show you how I set it up in game um, to actually work. So here's my FARP all set up and here is the Tacan unit. Now what I need to do in the advanced waypoints is select the following. So in perform command in the drop down, first of all we set the call sign, I selected pinpoint. The next thing I did was add another advanced waypoint action and I set the frequency. I set the first frequency to 252 with a power of 1000. I then on that frequency wanted to transmit a message. So I selected from the drop down again, transmit message, and I selected a sound file. So when I press select, it goes to my DCS radio messages, and there's my PLB beacon number two. So I selected that. I then selected loop so that it would play constantly once the ADF frequency has been attained within the aircraft or the helicopter. The 252 frequency allows aircraft like the A10C to find the transmission on its UHF radio and then you can select it to ADF and the needles will move on the HSI so you can find out where the location is. For helicopters I have to set it to 0 0.252 as all helicopters use the 0 point scenario when you're selecting ADF. Now you could also set this up for the Huey to do um, a Fox Mike ADF navigation but I haven't done that here. So for the 252, the 0.252, I've also set up a transmit, transmit message, same as we did previously for 252, and use the same PLB2 org. And that is the TACAM beacon set up as an ADF frequency transmitter. And it's as simple as that, really. So let me show you how that works in SIM uh, using the Gazelle. Right, here we are in the Gazelle. I'm just going to turn on the UV lighting and put a bit of uh, light on the Right, let's go to the co pilot seat by pressing 2. I can now see the ADF radio a lot better. So now, I set up as 2 by 2 and units. Sometimes it can be a bit tricky, but it seems to have worked. Switch to antenna, switch to ADF, switch on the turn. There we go, you can hear the beeping in the background, which is the PLB. Turn that down. Let's go to the pilot seat. One. As you can see, the arrow here shows us the direction of flight that we need to take. It's a little bit buggy is this whole thing, but it is what it is. But that arrow there is showing us the direction of flight. So let's do that and we should be able to get to the farm. So let's prepare for takeoff and let's go. Follow the arrow.
shouldn't take us too long to get to the far pack, but the tower relatively close. So it should be beyond the next copse of trees. And hopefully it'll be there. Now obviously you can use this for the helos, so it will work for the Huey, it will work for the Gazelle. It will also work for the F-86. If you set it up how I have set it up here, it will also work for the A-10C on 252MHz UHF. And there we go, there's the far, following the directional beacon. As you can see, I've put in new textures for the farm. Looks a lot better than that um, flat slag green rubbish that's currently available. I think it looks better. Not everyone will, but I think it does. And that is how I to set up the TACAN unit as a directional beacon. If I can figure out how to get it to work as a TACAN, as a ground unit, I shall do, and I'll lose it as a mod. So I hope that was useful, and thanks for watching. Bye now.